Hey everybody, on today's episode, we're going to talk about maceration. Now what's that? Well, in the context of fruit, it's whenever you let it soak in a liquid and it softens, makes it nice and palatable. Now, why are we doing this subject? Well, a friend of mine texted me, sent the email and said, hey man, went to the market, there was a ton of cherries there and there was a ton of peaches, I just bought way too many and they're starting to over ripen, what do I do with them? Well, I asked him, do you have any sugar in your house? He goes, yeah. I said, okay, I'm gonna chop it all up, pour it in some sugar, let it macerate in your fridge, and then eventually we're gonna process it. You can make a jam out of it, you can even make an ice cream out of it. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. So let's go. So today's maceration, we're going to use 600 grams of mixed cherries and peaches. Chop them up and remove all the pits. To this, we're going to add 320 grams of sugar. So you put your fruit in a bowl, you pour your sugar, you mix it with a spoon, and you leave it with a cover on in a fridge overnight. Now this is one method of preservation. You have fats, you have smoke, you also have sugar. So after about 24 hours, it's going to look like this. The fruit produced its own syrup and it's beginning to macerate or soften in its own liquid. Since we're using sugar, this prevents the pathogens from breaking down the fruit prematurely. There's just so much density of sugar that the yeasts and bacteria have a difficult time in breaking it down. And this is what allows us to keep it. So next, we're going to take our macerated fruit, or at least a portion of it, and put it in a blender. We're going to buzz this up break it down, make a puree of macerated fruit out of it. Now if you were to boil this down and concentrate it, you have yourself a jam. And that's what we're going to do. So we add some of our fruits and our puree to a saucepan, medium high heat, and we just cook it down until we get a thick consistency. We're going to hit the 220 degree mark, and then it thickens up and your jam sets. At this point, you can sterilize some jars, pour it in, hot pack it, and there you have yourself some jam for the winter time. But if you don't want to wait for winter, you can still use it. Make some toast, put it on there, toast and jam with fresh homemade jam. No preservatives, nothing but goodness. Or you can make a pie, like this. But I also said I was going to make some ice cream with the fruit, so here we go. We're going to take two whole eggs, put them in a container, and this is going to be the basis of our custard, or more specifically, a pastry cream. We're also going to need 50 grams worth of sugar. Now, we're also going to need about 22 grams of cornstarch. We're going to whisk it all together. Now, the cornstarch is important when you're making a pastry cream because this provides a stabilization for the egg and it won't scramble as easily. Anyways, we're going to heat up 250 ml of milk, pretty hot, and we're going to gradually incorporate it into our egg mixture. This is known as tempering. And we're going to take all the milk and egg, put it back in the pan, cook it until it thickens, and then we're going to pass this cream through a strainer. That's your basic pastry cream. To this, we're going to add 220 grams of ricotta cheese, just for a little bit of richness, and a drop of almond extract, a bit of vanilla, and our fruit puree. Now we're going to blend it all. Take an immersion blender or whatever blender you have, buzz it, cool it for 30 minutes. Then we're going to put all that mixture into an ice cream maker and you just follow the instructions. In this particular one, I just churn it until it starts to thicken up and it looks like this. And after about a day or so, you get a good ice cream. It sort of looks like this. Intense cherry and peach flavor, creamy, rich, simple to do. So here's another dessert that you can make with macerated fruit. So I hope you get to try this out with all the seasonal fruits you can find at your market or store. Share, like, and subscribe. Have a great summer.